famous newspaper editor Tess Flanders once said in a 1911 article, a picture is worth a thousand words. Photography is a powerful form of art that can be used for many different purposes. Whether it's sports, nature, life events, etc., it is so versatile in so many different ways. Luke Tracy, a current communications and environmental science major on the campus of Franklin Pierce University, along with being a senior captain, a TACman for the Franklin Pierce Men's Lacrosse program, Tracy has seen the same, if not more, success with a camera in his hands than he has with a lacrosse stick. Tracy is the current photography coordinator for the athletics department and oversees all of his fellow peers along with creating relationships with student athletes just by taking one click on a button. Tracy started photography in seventh grade doing a variety of projects in his middle school and high school and has taught himself new things year by year. So for the most part I'm pretty much self-taught when it comes to photography. I used YouTube and research and articles and everything online. Um, I've only taken one photography class and that was photographic processes with Al Karivi and that class is actually unbelievable. It started out with film photography which teaches you how to really shoot manually because when it comes to film you got to take the picture and you can't look at the back of the, the camera to see how that photo came out. You're going to know how it came out once you're in the dark room and you throw the chemicals into all the film and kind of end up developing it under one of the lights. So that taught me how to really focus on making photographs versus taking photographs. So that was super important. Um, but other than that, I've had people that I've worked for. Um, Marissa Ketterman, she was my boss my freshman and sophomore year. She was the athletic coordinator, photo athletic photography coordinator um, for Franklin Pierce Athletics. And after she graduated, I ended up taking her position. So now I'm that, in that spot. But for the most part, self-taught through YouTube and then that one class and then a lot of things that I've just read online. Although Tracy is now a communication and environmental science major, his initial path, his freshman year of college, was slightly different. So I actually came in as a sports and rec major. Um, I thought it was a safe bet. I liked sports and I thought that management was needed everywhere. So that was my first safe bet that I wanted to go with. Um, so. After my first semester, I didn't love my classes. I didn't really love and like really enjoy what I was doing that much. So I thought that I wanted to change my major. Um, so then I looked. To, I thought about what I like to do. And I like to talk to people and I like to write. So I met with um, Professor Bush, and I realized that the communications major, journalism focus, media production focus, um, were kind of a good route for me to take. So from there on, I ended up getting a job as a um, athletics photographer and I got my own camera and communications itself you need you need photos for articles so I figured that if I'm gonna pursue this career that I should just get a camera that I can use in the future so I got a nice Canon 7D again continue to teach myself how to use that because I mean those cameras are so nice it's pretty much like a computer in your hand that takes pictures so I just I guess started using that a lot more and I shot more and more and continued to fall in love with photography especially the athletic sides of it I love being on the field and kind of catch, like capturing the emotions of each game and seeing what the athletes do and how much like grind and work they put in to get to get wins and stuff like that. So, and being an athlete myself, I can really appreciate all the emotions of sports. So, even with being an athlete, his similarities he sees in photography are fairly similar to what he does in the lacrosse field. I think once you develop a friendship with the people that you're photographing, they like that. I mean, everyone likes their photo taking and. Um, I've developed a lot of friendships through being that guy that takes the pictures and I enjoy being that person because my favorite part of being a photographer is when parents come up to me after games, before games, during games and say, hey, like I saw the photo you got of my, my daughter that you got of my son and it's great and like people telling me that they had them blown up and they took the pictures and put it on their wall back home, like that stuff means a lot to me because I mean photos, they, they last a long time, they last a lifetime. So. It's really nice to kind of see how much people appreciate the photography that I, that I do and the pictures that I make, and I, that's why I kind of stick with it and fell in love with it so much. Tracy enjoys capturing key moments, but what he enjoys more is the relationships he has created with photography. It's all hard work, and that translates to anything else in, in life, I guess. You know, when you're, when you're on the athletic field, there's times off the field where you're grinding. There's times on the field when you're working for, where you're putting in all that work to, to perform how you are on the field. So when it comes to photography, I'm not just gonna go to the games and just shoot at the games and put my camera in my bag after the game and go home and just upload the pictures. I'm gonna 
go to the game, I'm gonna shoot the photos, look at my photos, see how I did, see what I need to work on. If I point out what I have to work on, that comes down to reading, looking at YouTube, self-teaching myself, how I can better my photos for the next game. Um, and like that's like, like I said with anything, if you're, if you're in a job and you wanna get better at your job, be the best at your job, you need to do stuff at home or in sports off the field to get better. So for me, it's at home practice, it's research, it's just working hard even when I'm not at work. Luke Tracy plans to graduate in the spring, but has already applied for many different job positions across the country. His dream job, though, is to be a photographer for the National Geographic. To see any of Luke Tracy's work, please visit LukeTracyPhotography.Shutterfly.com, LukeTracyPhotography.Smugmug.com, or follow his Instagram account, at LukeTracyPhotography. For Prism Sports, I'm Dan Longton. Thank you from our cast and crew.